Hey guys, I wanted to pop on here and talk about a new little project that I decided to do. So, my brother started a cat YouTube channel last year when he got his ragdoll kittens. And I feel like he's been doing pretty well. He has um, just over 15,000 subscribers right now. And um, he kept talking to me about starting a channel for Riley because she's so pretty and he feels like a lot of the other huskies that he sees online are not as pretty. <laughs> and um, I do feel like Riley definitely has the look that can make her very popular. Um, I have always tried to, I guess, stay away from that because normally when it comes to those types of videos, I'm not the big, I don't like pet videos. The typical ones. I don't think they're funny. Um, they tend to add a lot of captions for animals thoughts and what they say and I would just say that my approach to pet ownership tends to be very different than the average person so it makes sense that I wouldn't like that type of content and I, I do also don't like humanizing animals and I feel like when you add captions that's basically what you're doing of course, if you do it only a little bit, that's all right, but sometimes people do it throughout the entire video. So that's something that I'm not going to do. But um, I created a channel for Riley. It's called The Husky Maiden. And I put up my first video um, just a few days ago. And I'm going to actively upload to that channel, try to come up with some good ideas for videos of her, and try to make it fun and entertaining. Um, this is not going to be a training channel at all because I know that training in the dog world is very divided and I am not wanting to deal with that at all. So um, there will be a few informational videos, but because of what I just said, I'm going to keep it kind of like surface level. So for example, um, if I do a video on huskies and cats in the same household, I'm not going to go into exact detail of things. I will say information that I do personally think it's helpful, but for example, if I say negative reinforcement, I'm not going to tell you what kind of negative reinforcement to use. I'm just going to leave that for the viewer to determine for themselves. But um, yeah, if you want to see more of Riley or if you have suggestions please let me know but also I guess if you want to support me or you want to support Riley <laughs> um, please subscribe and check out the videos I would really appreciate it I love to hear comments from people I'm generally always very responsive depending on the type of comment of course yeah I am pretty excited about this because I do enjoy making videos I really enjoy making videos it's just that when it comes to doing vlogs, um, I have to interrupt my day by recording and I'm not a big fan of that, which is why I haven't done it as much anymore. But this is gonna be different and I do like focusing um, footage on her because I have definitely noticed lately that I just don't record Riley very often. I mean, there's no reason to. When I do stories on Instagram, I'm usually talking so it's on me and I've been showing a bit more of Ball lately because he's a new kitten. But um, whenever I record stories or videos of Riley, and then I watch them back, I'm just like, oh my goodness, why don't I record you more? You're so beautiful and I just love the way she's so attentive to me and there's all these small things. So I am happy to take this journey with her. I just need to come up with ideas and it's definitely gonna be a bit more organized than this channel of course this channel has always been whatever I feel like whenever I feel like creating a video I will put it on here and I like that because there's no pressure um, and I don't have to feel like I need to restrict things I don't have to feel like I have to watch what I say but of course since this channel is going to be geared more towards growth I may have to reel it back a little bit on certain things it is actually Christmas Eve right now and um, everything has been good. Ba was challenging for the first few weeks for sure. He's a very talkative cat and that made things very stressful. I was very anxious. Being home, leaving home was a breath of fresh air and then coming home was stressful because I would anticipate him being noisy. But 
things are starting to fall into place and um, yeah I'm starting to feel better again I would definitely say that I've been stressed I've been getting a lot of like pimples and acne due to stress and um, <laughs> yeah things are feeling more calm now but um, Merry Christmas to everybody I really hope that you had a good year this year and if not stay optimistic things will always turn out to be better if you stick with it so um, happy end of the year to everybody and thank you so much for watching this video